I always wanted to build a log cabin by myself. And finally, last summer we bought a piece of land for our new home. And it was the property was full of big pine trees, which is great material for log cabin. I'm not going to build the main building or the home house because simply I, I don't have enough time for that. So I decided that I will build a smaller log cabin next to the home, which is better project for me in this situation. That log cabin will be a sauna or workshop. Not sure yet, but we will see. I have never done anything like this, so it's all new for me. Uh, so you can expect a lot of mistakes and of course, m the more importantly, a lot of learning also. And I'm very excited to see how it goes. So first of all, I started by dropping some 15 trees with my chainsaw. And then I asked my neighbor if he could transport the trees to the nearby sawmill. Working on the sawmill was really, really nice experience. I had never seen old sawmill working, so, so it was really nice. And I, I was amazed how fast it actually was to make those logs. What I have here, it was maybe five to six hours and all was done. And actually a bit more because I have another pile there. So it was really interesting. Unfortunately I didn't have my camera there so I just took the clips with my phone. Here we have the logs. And they are drying here. Probably until the next summer. The old milk guy recommended me to, to pile this another way because now it might be possible that there are darker spots under these panels here uh, and of course they are then visible when I built the building but I wanted to make sure that these locks won't bend like this way too much because then it's very difficult to to match them together. Actually I don't I don't think that the bending is a very big problem because all of these logs have been made from the center of the tree. There are only few few of them that are made like from the side of the tree. Not sure if we have any here but we made a couple of those because I wanted to try if it's bending or not. Because then of course if we have a large tree you can make two logs from the same wood. At first I was planning to, to cut these logs with chainsaw and I, I started doing that but I quickly realized that I would need another life to do all the locks in that way. But anyway, it's good to know that in the future if I need just a few locks every now and then, I can do them by myself. And they actually look really nice. I'm not sure 
which are made with chainsaw but anyway they are pretty good there's my first building ever I made it because I needed some place for my tools and all the stuff I have here and it was good practice for me looks like we have a lot of cowberries here so I think I will pick some of them Nice, more berries for the winter. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.